So what, what moral justification do we have to enslave and kill all these animals on a mass scale or even on a miniature scale? Yeah. So what would be a justification for not being vegan today? After this conversation? <laughs>
to be honest, I don't really know enough about the subject to talk with a lot of confidence. Sure. But I do know that meat is good for you. And I'm sure that the mm -hmm. vegan meats have all the nutrients and added in and everything mm -hmm. like that. But in my mind that if it's like, we're obviously religious. We yeah. That God has given us things on this earth for us. Okay. Right. And we, everything, we believe as a church right. that everything should be consumed um, in... What is it? What's the right amount of it? In like the right amounts. Right. Not like overeating, not mm -hmm. overtaking. Not so in moderation. In mo that's it. That's yeah. the word. Thank you. Moderation. Everything yeah. in moderation. So, yeah. If we were to yeah. eat meat, it would be in moderation. If we were to have milk, it would be in moderation. It yeah. wouldn't be at these this mass product that the world is looking mm -hmm. at right now. Mm -hmm. But everything in moderation as to what we need as like a family, as like a group of people. Yeah. Like yeah. That, so. so speaking of like, I know you're re religious, you know, so God, you believe in, in Christ, it's like Christian religion, right? That's what Church of Jesus. So um, I was raised Catholic. Um, but what my one question is, is that if God is so, do you think that animals like cows, pigs, chickens, do you think they feel pain? Yeah. Do you think they're sentient? Like they, they, they know what life is, right? They know, they know that they yeah. exist in this world? Yes. Why would God give them the ability to suffer if he knew that we were just going to slash their throat and put them in a, in a cellophane package to eat on the supermarket? Well, why would he give us reason to suffer? But do we put ourselves in packages? And, and on, if we, we've, we've done that in the past, we've killed on mass scales, right? And we, yeah. would, do we declare that immoral? Yes. So why would we do something immoral if God gave us the power to suffer? Well, because man has choice. We all have agency. Well, we do. That. And so he's not going to take away our choice. And without pain and suffering, we wouldn't know happiness. And so in regards to animals, mm -hmm. I'm not an animal. I don't right. know exactly. What we all technically are animals, right? We, yeah. We are, yeah. At, a, at a different scale, we are kind of like in, like the higher creatures, so to speak. Yeah. Right. We have so we have dominion over the animals. So should that dominion be to protect or to enslave and kill? Obviously to protect, but... Would we do the same thing with dogs? If we had a factory farm killing dogs and cats and all these dogs that we have in our house and we love, uh, would we accept that? Or like right across the street, let's say there was a, a dog meat packing facility. Would you, would you buy from that? Would you eat that? I'm sure some it's still meat, would. muscle and tendons, right? Yeah. Would you accept it? Depends. I mean, I don't really like eating lamb. Okay. I don't like eating them because right. Jesus Christ is, you know, a sacrificial lamb. Right. So in my mind, it has some religious meaning to it. Right. I don't like eating lamb. Well, but in other parts of the or world, sheep or horse, because the meat. I've heard the meat are all gross. Yeah, but I'm, I'm talking about dogs and cats specifically. Ones that we've said, oh, we love them, they're domesticated, they're part of our family, we spend money on them to give them nice sweaters and like fancy dishes. And so. dog. Sure, if I had a dog right here, your dog right here, and I said, I got a gun and said, I'm going to eat it for lunch. What would you say? I'd be pretty upset about it. So why would we feel different about cows and who also have families and, you know? Mm. Would we entertain for a second if we put females inside cages and oh, I want to drink breast milk instead of cow milk. Sorry. I want to hook them up to the, the machines and we're going to mass produce that. So we're going to rape them. We're going to kill their babies as soon as they're born and then steal the milk. Would we accept that? Yeah. So why would we accept doing it to cows? Because they're passive and they can't fight back? That's a very good question. So what, what moral justification do we have to enslave and kill all these animals on a mass scale or even on a miniature scale? Yeah. So what would be your justification for not being vegan today? After this conversation? Because I, I know you have ethics and values, right? Like I know that the church, of, they're filled with wonderful, wonderful people. And they want to do good in this world. But why would we go out and say we want peace and love and harmony in the world, you know, and show kindness to humans, but screw all the, 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 the animals. They're, you know what, they're, they're, our, they're products to us. They're nothing. We can enslave and we can do whatever we want with them. As long as I turn a blind eye and don't see what the, what's happening behind closed doors, that's totally fine. What is the justification for continuing to do this past today? Enough in a farming town, sure. and the farmers don't do that. They don't, they don't do, do what? Near to that. But what, what do they don't yeah. do? Okay. They don't do that. So where do they send the calves after they're born? I don't know, but they don't do that. They raise them. They raise them, so they just live out their lives until well, they're grown old. Not like for sure, but I know that like they don't okay. kill them when they're born. 
okay, maybe you can ask uh, whoever it is that owns that farm. Because my, I actually come from a dairy background. My uh, my grandfather was a dairy farmer, mm -hmm. and I learned about all this. I think it just depends on the farmer sometimes. Okay. My grandpa was a farmer. And he sure. Never did any of that. Well, some they don't do it right on the yeah. farm. What they'll do is they'll collect them and they'll bring them to another location to a slaughterhouse. So if they're grass-fed, they're humanely raised, all this kind, all these taglines, they still go to the same location. They still go to the slaughterhouse in the end. Like I, I, I'm not aware of. Maybe there is a special place. Like you have a sanctuary slash farm that I know of that I don't know of. But I, I'm I'm talking for the majority of farms. Like they're the 99.999 percent of farms out there. That is the common standard practice. Well, um, I know that when my friends and I we watched this movie about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yep. Do you know who that is? Yep. He made this film. He was a bodybuilder, mm -hmm. and he did what go plant based, but he did eat some meat. Yeah, the game changers. Yeah, he. It's uh, yeah, it's yes. on Netflix right now, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's really good. Have you seen it? I have. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I have a card that I, I give out, and uh, we. Um, it has all of that, including the game changers. It has the what the health, cowspiracy, and I mean, like, would you ever consider working in a slaughterhouse? Uh, do, do you mind if I give this to you? Oh sure. Uh, no. Could we do an exchange? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the book of Mormon. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so, what like, would you ever want to work in a slaughterhouse, or want some of your family members to work there? Do you think it's uh, a good place to work? Like I don't really want to judge. It's like because everyone has agency, though they can do whatever they want. I mean, it's not my career because I want to be a teacher because that's what I want to do. Yeah. But it just kind of depends on what you want to do, like what you want to go into. So about agency, um, serial killers have agency. They go around murdering people. Should we not stop them because they have agency? Well, like. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they have agency, and yeah, they shouldn't do it, but how are we going to stop them? Well, with laws. Try. With laws. We have laws. Yeah. But we could, we could pass laws for so saying lot. you can't kill animals. Like, that's like saying people who drunk drive, they're not supposed to do it, they do it anyway. Right. I mean, we put laws in place. But, but the majority of people say the law on this, like, I'm not going to do that because I, I would go to jail. We have laws that protect dogs and cats. If I kill a dog right now, I'd go to jail, right? Mm -hmm. What if um, what if a cow or a pig or something, you know, you shoot them, it's, oh, that's just lunch. What if we had a law that said, you're not allowed to do that? What do you think the industry would do? Stop doing it, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's It's... I went vegan four years because I, I had to align my actions with my values, right? I said, I, I don't agree with what I'm doing anymore. Like, this, is, this isn't this is right. So I said, I'm just going to stop it. I mean, there's nothing that you need from meat and dairy products, right? Like, do you think that you, you can only find certain things from animal products? I haven't looked into it. What do you think the animals eat? <laughs> Grass. And plants and vegetables yeah. and stuff, eh? So can we just eat the plants instead of the animals? Yeah, there are the different... Things like yeah, there are like the different herbivores, omnivores, carnivores, like every yeah. different animal needs I mean, that's different kind of things to eat. Like animals eat animals. The circle of life. Yeah, the yeah. circle of life. Well, yeah, I, they're, they're, okay, so a lions or whatever, they, they, they hunt yeah. because they need to survive. They don't really have two legs. They can't, you know, they don't know how to garden and stuff like that, yeah. but we do. So why would we hold ourselves to that standard? They also eat their babies. Did you know that? Lions yeah. eat their own babies. Do we eat our own babies? No. No, because we because, sure we because, <laughs> because yeah, exactly. It's, it's weird. It's, 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 it's immoral. You know, we want to raise our young, right? We want to protect our young. So why would, we, why would we hold ourselves to the standard of a lion? When we have the, when we're saying we have dominion and stuff like that, why don't we hold ourselves to a higher intellectual level and stop eating animals, stop eating their stuff? I mean, if we, would you go out and kill your own animal? Would I go out and kill my own animal? Take a knife in your hand and oh, there's a cow right here, and and stab its throat and cut it up and stuff. Well, I suppose if I was starving and I needed food and stuff, then yeah. Are you? I'm not specifically. So why would you do it? <laughs> Well, if hmm, you're very good at your job, I'm just asking questions, right? So I mean, like, and I'm just saying I'm these are like questions me. I had to ask myself. Yeah. So and, and like, I'm I'm not trying to be like a pushy or anything like that. I'm just trying to Get our I'm trying to be the vegan yeah. that I wish I met four years ago. That kind of like raised these questions, and said, you know what? That's actually a good question. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Would you ever consider going vegan? Would I ever consider going vegan? I don't know. If you I've if you could never eat. considered it before, uh, most Christians Christ, Christians 
Christians believe is that the world is going to get worse and worse and worse until mm -hmm. Jesus Christ comes again. And so unfortunately there are a lot of awful things going on in the world that we try our hardest mm -hmm. to stop. Mm -hmm. And I commemorate you for what you're doing out here. <laughs> you are trying to make a difference and that's all that any of us we can really do. And we, we just can believe make a that, difference. Yeah. And we just believe that the world is gonna go down and things are gonna happen and there's gonna be mm -hmm. evil and then right. when it's at like the brink, Jesus Christ is gonna come again. And we can try all that we can in this life to try and help people be good and be good ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Do what we believe to yep. be right, yep. which is absolutely amazing that you are doing this. And really, I have a lot of respect for you. For well, not only being vegan, but coming out here and trying to help. You don't have to show respect me, just show respect to the animals. That's all they ask, right? They, they don't have a voice, so I'm just trying to speak for on their behalf, right? Because if you were put in their situation, in a cage, and knowing that your day, the day you were born was already marked with your day of execution, mm -hmm. how, who would you want speaking up for you? Would you want anybody? Or you just wanna, okay, you know, the end is near, uh, well, I guess my life's over. I mean, just because we, we, we may believe that the end is, is gonna be coming and there's nothing we can do, doesn't mean we shouldn't try to be a better person in this life, right? Because as, as God says, right, he's gonna judge us, right? Mm -hmm. well, what do you think God's gonna say when, you know, all of his other creatures that he created, you know, were, that were on your plate at one time, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, not, I'm guilty as well. Like, I ate f meat for 30 years of my life, mm -hmm. but we can start doing the right thing now. Mm -hmm. And we can move forward, right? So. Because if you if you align your actions with your values and you know like that was the fifth or sixth commandment you know thou shall not kill, what? Oh, that's the sixth one. Is it the sixth one? Yeah. Where's the the little caveat and the little asterisk beside it that says oh uh, but animals are okay to kill you know I mean we've done things in a time of necessity you know like oh we're starving on desert island desert island or in the forest we have to you know hunt with our bows and arrows right this day and age we have no reason mm -hmm. like we can just go over and pick up a a vegan sandwich at A uh, and W or KFC or mm -hmm. Frisian Bros right I mean like just leave the animals alone mm -hmm. that's all this yeah.